Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and on this iCast, I'm going to be talking about things you need to consider before buying that computer hardware. Now remember, computer hardware is a very touchy topic for some people. A lot of people are hardcore brand name people. A lot of people are, I don't care as long as it's cheap people. And uh, I'm, you're going to find out, kind of fall in the middle. Uh, before I do that, let me throw in here that these are the iCasts, so these videos are just for you guys. Make sure you keep asking questions because I have a whole list I'm running, and I'm running through them one at a time. It's FIFO, all right? First in, first out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down the list, and it, actually I'm getting a long enough list now where I might actually have to do two of these a day, which would be great. I really enjoy them. So computer hardware. Where do you start? Well, what is hardware? Let me start with that. Hardware can be any device that you either plug into your computer such as a USB hard drive, a USB mouse, anything like that. Or it could also be something you put inside of a computer for an installation. You might put in a motherboard, you might put in a new hard drive, you might put in memory. And so there's some, some factors you need to take into consideration when you actually decide to go out and buy a piece of hardware, none of which should be on price alone. Now, uh, that's the first issue I want to touch. If you go on price alone, you're pretty much going to burn yourself nine times out of ten solely because... Cheap things are made cheaply. Listen, if, if there's a product out there, the price seems too good to be true, there's probably a quality control reason for it, and you really want something that's reliable. There's nothing worse than having a mouse stop working when you're in the middle of doing something, or a keyboard, or memory failing randomly, causing hard drive failures and things like that. So let's not just go for the lowest cost item. I, I, you know, I'd like to think that's common sense, but a lot of people do approach it from that angle. Probably not the best move. So don't buy solely on price. Now that's not saying price isn't important. We do want to buy something that's cost effective, but we want to balance price versus quality. So let's move on to brand names. Brand names used to once upon a time mean something. Now the problem is with so many acquisitions going on in these major corporations, they'll buy out a product from a smaller company and then they'll turn around and rebrand that product with their name on it. The problem? Just because their name on their name's on it, they feel that they can charge additional money for it, even if it's not necessarily worth that. So they'll go out and buy a cheap Chinese manufacturer of memory, and they'll say, hey, let's make this a gigabyte memory stick. And so they'll just have them keep manufacturing the exact same memory, and then they'll stick their label on it. Not to pick on gigabyte, that's not... Not what they do, okay? I don't know if that's what they do, but that's just an example. They'll go out and acquire all these other manufacturing products, they'll stick their name on it, they'll mark it up, and they'll sell it for more because their name's on it. So don't fall for that, okay? Branding is done. Ever since all the acquisitions have occurred, it's really not a great way to buy products. I can't say that. I mean, some of the acquisitions are usually you have a very good chance of getting a good product, such as Asus or Asus, whatever you guys are going to yell at me for calling it that. Um, they have awesome products, and I mean, there's a lot of manufacturers out there you can kind of rely on, but now we're going to get to my third point. The most important factor when buying hardware is the review, okay? So we've said, probably shouldn't go for the cheapest, probably shouldn't go for the brand name, definitely don't want to go for the most expensive, I'm not even going to touch that one. Let's go for reviews. You have the most powerful research tool, I've said this in a number of my other videos, available to you at all times. Typically it's your mobile phone, but the internet is not that hard to find. If you look at Amazon, usually there's hundreds to thousands of reviews. You can go to my favorite hardware site, Newegg.com, and you can just look up millions of different products. They'll even let you sort it by reviews. They'll even let you read details of the reviews. A great thing about Amazon and Newegg, is that they actually require that the people who leave reviews are certified buyers of that product. In other words, they had to purchase the product through Amazon, and you can even see how long it's been since they purchased the item and published the review. So it's like you can say, wow, they've owned it for three months before publishing the review. They offer incentives to people to leave reviews. So they know that feedback is a critical part of their selling process. They want you to have a good product too, because they know if you're happy with your purchase, you're going to love that you bought it from them. Lastly, the things when considering hardware is compatibility, and of course you want to make sure your hardware is always compatible with whatever piece of hardware you're currently using, whether that be your operating system or your uh, physical you know, ports, you got to make sure it plugs in. So always make sure that the software or hardware is going to be compatible with your software, and if it's not, or you're not sure, you might have to do a little homework, or you can swing by my website. i got a community over there, you can just log in, it's free, you can ask me, I'll help you, just make sure you post the model number, people never post the model number. And then I'll see what I can do to help you, or you can just ask a friend or family member if you think they're 
affluent enough in the technology. So that's all there is to this video. I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on some things to consider when you're going out to buy hardware for a computer or things like that. And uh, this can kind of be used universally, but I wanted to focus on computers because, let's face it, it's a tech help show. But uh, the principles should stay the same pretty much across the board for any purchase. So, as always, thanks for stopping by. Remember, this is the iCast series. Post your questions because I'm going to keep a running list of them. Remember, it's FIFO, first in, first out. So, if I don't get to you right away, that's probably because you're down on the list. And uh, also, don't forget to swing by my website. I got like 80 free downloads over there. You can also follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter. I've had a lot of fun on Twitter lately. That's been fun for me because I've just been, you know, myself. Uh, you can also do the whole LinkedIn thing if you like LinkedIn or Google+. I'm there as well. So thanks again and have a good day.